Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tasca API Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 9 YouTube videos covering the basic concepts of API automation by using Tricentis Tasca. And also, I have showed you some of the examples how can we automate REST services by using Tricentis Tasca. So, from previous lesson onwards, which is our lesson 8, have started teaching you how can we automate SOAP services by using Tricentis Tasca. This is our lesson 10, which is part 2 of API SOAP automation video series. In this lesson, I am going to teach you how can we export API scan results to Tasca so that we can start automating our test cases. So, the lesson objective is we need to export API scan results of our SOAP UI services or our SOAP services into Tasca Commander to form modules and test cases so that we can create automated test cases. So the procedure whatever we follow will be the same as the procedure that we followed for the REST services. So every SOAP message that you export from API scan to task or commander will be turned into two modules and two test steps. So each module and test step represents either a request or response part of the SOAP message to allow Tasca to automate and test the API and set dynamic parameters. So modules contains the technical information of system under test. So as usual, the modules under Tasca contains the technical information of system under test. So this is the pictorial diagram representing every message that we export results into two different modules. What is, one is for request another for response so in the same way the test cases also will be created based on the request and response so now so firstly we need to select all the messages that you would like to export into tasca so shift and selecting multiple functions does not work in api scan however you can use control key to select multiple messages or operations so now let us go back to Tricentis Tosca and so in our previous lesson, lesson 9, which is part 1 of this video series, we already analyzed all our API test results. We scanned the URI to download SOAP messages and then we analyzed the API test results. So that's why let us open our API scan which loads all the messages that we analyzed in our earlier session. So this is the API scan. So you can see all the messages that we already saw in our previous session. So we renamed first four messages in a sequence order. And then we executed each and every operation and we saw the responses as well. So now, what we are going to do, let us go back to Tricentis Tosca. So let's select 01 get address, 02 add to cart, create order and verify order placement folders. Okay. Let us select this, this one and third one and fourth one. So we are going to select all four messages that we would like to export into Tosca. And then now messages can be exported by clicking option api test cases in ribbon okay so before you export what we need to do we need to make sure that we select the component folder that we created in earlier session so this is the component folder that we created okay 
So if you select this component folder and perform the export action, all the messages will be exported to the same component folder. So now I selected the messages and simply click on API test cases. This will export all your messages that you would like to export or automate by using Tricentis task up. So now let's close, minimize this. If you see here, if you click on this service, uh, REST API automation folder, component folder, now you can see it has total eight modules. As I told you, one each message will result into get address resulted into two modules. Get address request, get address response. Add to cart resulted into two modules. Add to cart request, add to cart response. In the same way, create order request, create order response. Verify order placement request, verify order placement response. So now, in the same way, total four test cases are created. For each test case, you have one test step for request, another test step for response. In the same way, add to cart, request response. Create order, request response. Verify order placements, request response. So, total eight different test cases, eight different modules. Modules will contain technical information. So now, let us go to our presentation. By default, component, component folder will be called as API scan underscore import. See, because we have not exported the test cases or the messages directly. Instead, we selected the component folder that we would like to use. So that's why it directly exported all the messages into the same component folder. So this particular step does not applicable. Now, so now because you have a multiple test cases here, right? Because in my next session, we are going to automate one end to end test case, only one test case. See, all these test cases actually can be used into one single test case. That's why I would like to rename the first test case and move all other steps into the same test case because all these test cases are part of one test case and we can use them as test steps. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say soap service automation. I'm renaming the first test case and now I would like to move all these test cases into the same test case. Just control and select the test cases. Control and select the test cases and move them to the same test case. And now I can delete these three different test cases. Now I have only one test case. One test case has eight different test steps. Okay. So now once that is done, let us first add business parameters to modules. Okay. So adding business parameters to modules is very similar to the REST service. In our previous sessions, probably like lesson five, six, seven, right? We already saw how can we add business parameters for the REST services. The process will be similar for SOAP services also. So in this session, I'm going to add business parameters for one module. Okay, only one module. So in the next session, when we complete our end-to-end -end test case automation, right? In the next session, I'm going to show you adding business parameters for all these modules. So for today, I'm going to add business parameters for verify order placement response for this particular module. Okay, so I just clicked on this module and now I landed onto the technical view of your module right because this particular verify order placements response returns the multiple orders so module verify order placements response since the response message returns a list of multiple orders okay it returns the multiple orders not only single order so we need to 
add the web service order as a parameter okay to make sure that tasker recognizes the all parameters belongs to one order and then once we add this as business parameter let's add this as business parameter i'm just selecting selecting this and click on add so now web service order parameter has been added business parameter because this response might have multiple orders right so i need to store the parameters related to one single order instead of multiple orders right under this i need to add the parameters related to one order order id order subtotal tax order shipping tax order total so what i'm going to here under this control find i'm going to find order id so this one i would like to add as my business parameter add this under web service order and then i would like to add another business term order subtotal order subtotal excl tax find next so this one i would like to add select this and click on add and then i would like to add shipping shipping find next so this one add as business parameter and then i would like to add order total order total this one i would like to add this also as a business parameter why because we are going to automate an end to end test case placing an order by using soap services and then verify if the recently placed order has the correct order id as expected it should have order subtotal cost should be correct order shipping cost should be correct and order total cost should be correct so i'm going to use the constraint option to find out the recent order by using web service order business parameter okay so this is how you can add the business parameters in task or commander for soap services so now we have all our modules which holds technical information and we also have all the test cases ready so in the next session i'm going to add business parameters and the buffers required to automate our end to end test case for all the modules and the same business parameters i'm going to use to populate the values in the test cases and to validate the response that we receive for the order placement okay so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries hope you all understand how can we export soap api scan results and then how can you create the modules which stores the technical information and then how can you create the test cases from the api scan results by using tasca commander please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you